Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Marie, I'm a graphic designer and today I will show you how I draw my mandala designs using my Wacom tablet. This is one of my Wacom tablets. It's the biggest one that I have and it's a Wacom Cintiq. It is not its own computer, it's just the monitor and it's connected to my computer. I have the Wacom keyboard that is connected through Bluetooth to use with it and the Wacom pen with the pen holder. I have other Wacom products over here which I will show in a future video. So let's get started. Start by opening Adobe Illustrator which is the program I use. Okay. Then we are going to create a new we're gonna create a new artboard and I'm gonna use centimeters. So I'm gonna make it 21 by 21 centimeters. And then I'm gonna start by creating a base structure which I'm gonna use to create my mandala. So I'm gonna use the ellipse tool. Here I'm going to make sure that we have the fill to none and the stroke to, um, I'll change the stroke to red. Then I'm also going to draw just a straight line by using the pen tool and holding uh, shift. Okay. Then I'm going to select everything that is on my artboard. I'm going to go up here to the Align section, and I'm going to put Align to Artboard. And I'm going to put Align to Center vertically and Align to Center horizontally. Now, last step to create our structure. I'm going to select just the line and use the Rotate tool to rotate it, let's see, 18 degrees and click Copy. Okay, so this is going to be my bottom structure. This is going to be the base structure because I won't be drawing the entire mandala. I will only draw the this section here, which will then be flipped and repeated in a circle. So I'm going to go over here to uh, layers. I'm going to lock this layer, which as I said, I'm going to use as a base and create a new layer which is where I'm going to do my design. So let's save, <laughs> otherwise we might lose We might lose stuff as we go along. We do not want that. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to change my stroke to black and the fill to none. Then I'm going to go up here and create a new brush, which will be a calligraphy brush. And I'm going to change this to four. I'm going to put pressure and put the variation to four as well. So then we're going to use the brush tool to just try and draw some strokes. Okay. So, I'm going to zoom in. And uh, change my points to 0.5. And then I'm going to start drawing uh, my mandala. So, let's remember that this is just part of it that will afterwards be flipped.
So we want the lines to start where this uh, vertical line is and to end where this other line is because when the image is going to be flipped that way the lines will line up. Now since this is hand drawn, obviously it won't be as precise as if you were creating it using geometric shapes, obviously. But that's the nice thing of it being hand drawn because uh, it has that little uniqueness. It's not perfect. Um, Okay, so what I'm going to do now is select uh, everything that we just drew and go to Object Group, and then I'm going to go here to the Reflect Tool, and then I'm going to zoom in on this point here, and click Shift while clicking in the center. clicking in the center and the reflect window will open. So, um, we're going to put vertically as you can see and put copy. So now if we go here and turn off to the layer panel and turn off the structure that we had initially created, we're going to see that our design is uh, reflected. Some of the points here need to be uh, lined up better, but that's no problem because you can correct that now if you want, or just leave it like that. Uh, whatever you prefer. Even uh, if you want, you don't have to. Just kind of work through it. Okay. And five. 
Okay, so, uh, uh, uh. obviously, if you want, you don't have to, but you can use the direct selection tool, tool to select any of the uh, points to modify. So, for example, um, I don't know, you want to bring this point here, like, a little bit lower so it touches, you just click and drag on it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our structure again, which is still locked. Then um, we're still zoomed, so this point here is easy to select. We're just going to go in Control A and just select everything. So I'm just going to go to Object, like uh, Ungroup, otherwise Pretend Group, and group all of these together. So now, I'm going to back here. Click the rotate tool. Click Alt while clicking here. And uh, 18 and 18 is 36. I'm changing to 36 for our preview, and there it is. Just kind of lines up there, and I'm going to put a copy. Now I'm going to go. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, and Control D until it goes all the way around, which is making a rotated up copy, and uh, then it's just repeating that copy. So now we can zoom out. Okay, we can turn off our structure, which we can now delete because we don't need it anymore. And it, here is our finished mandala design. <clears throat> and as I said, this is hand drawn, so you can do the same process using a computer without a Wacom or a pen. And um, you can always add, if you want, like more. Uh, details like using uh, shapes here. Like if I wanted to, I could add a circle here in the center, you know, and uh, or a star or whatever. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope this tutorial was useful. Uh, you don't need a Wacom or a pen to draw uh, a mandala. You can do the exact same thing using a mouse and a keyboard. Um, I just wanted to show you how I use my Wacom tablet. And you can download most of my designs off of Shutterstock and Adobe Stock, but also I have uh, coloring page bundles on Etsy and other digital products as well, so go check it out. I hope to see you in my next video, and if you need any help with anything, please let me know. Bye!